Hi everybody. Hopefully you can hear me. saw what I did hey guys I'm not gonna stay too long I'm here drinking a concoction of mine <laughs> nothing like you think you may be thinking there It's so crazy because when I first came on, I was like thinking to myself, I have a lot to say. And I still do. It's just a matter of um, saying all of it. Um, and how I want to say it and how I want to convey it and how I want it to be understood. There's going to be so many changes that are happening. It's not even funny what's going to gonna ha what's gonna happen all over this world, all over, to all of us. Hey sister, what's going on? What's going on? I'm not going to stay on long. There's so much that's going to be happening to this, to the world, to us, every one of us that are spiritual, those of us that are here and not afraid to, to be ourselves, to stand out, even when, you know, not everybody's going to resonate with the information we're bringing forth. Not everyone's going to resonate with the energy I mean, a lot of this is we say spiritual like spiritual is a different genre spiritual is every aspect of your life every aspect of who you are is spiritual your existence the way you speak the way you breathe breath is spiritual being mindful is spiritual your actions what you say how you eat the way you walk the way you speak you are a spiritual being, eternal being in a physical form. So if whatever I say is not in alignment with what you what you believe, then that's fine. You know, it, it, there's reasons for that. You know, every, everything is vibration. Everything is energy. Everything is frequency. So my vibration, energy and frequency may not be in alignment with you know, with, with yours. And that is okay. Everyone is here. Every soul is in, incarnated for a different reason, different purpose. And so it is. The, and you can never pass judgment or compare. I say that to say this. <laughs> that um, there's many hardships on our planet. And there's so many things happening that are very disturbing today. But know that the the biggest picture is that a lot of us, well, all of us incarnated, the souls incarnated into these problems in our lives for greater lessons. So today at this moment, it may be like, oh my God, I'm going through all these hardships. But every single one of these hardships is a lesson for the soul to grow. It's a lesson for the soul to get, to become a greatest, the greatest version, ever evolving. It's simply an experience at the end of the day. It's simply an experience where we're, we're great beings having a human experience. And yet we're multidimensional. So I'm getting, don't forget to say it, we're also multidimensional. Even though we are human, because of our incarnation in the physical form, we do exist simultaneously in every single other dimension, every single realm, and in every single vibration there is because we're multidimensional. So what you do here in the physical realm Ripples have a rippling effect in eternity, whether it's good or bad. You know, that's why there's those karmic chains that can happen. If, you know, whether the decision is good or bad, you know, everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. So, 
the one of the reasons why I wanted to come on today is to talk about Scorpio energy because I am a Scorpio and I wanted to speak on what that energy means to me for me as a Scorpio I have I've told people I am a Scorpio rising Scorpio Sun Scorpio Venus Scorpio and Saturn and Scorpio and Pluto <laughs> So I have lots of Scorpio in my chart, my friend. So I'm going to tell you that my life has not been easy. And I think as a Scorpio, what Scorpio is all about is transformation. So each one of those planets that are in there for me are there to transform. So once again, I have Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising, Scorpio Venus, Scorpio, and Pluto, um, Scorpio, and Saturn. So I think that's called a stellium when you have that much freaking water. But my moon and my Mars is in Libra. So I think and feel like a Libra. I think, no, not think. That's in your Mercury. That's in Sagittarius. Um, my, my Mars, so the way I do things and the way I feel is very much in Libra. So I, I truly like things to be harmonious at the end of the day, very much so, because I know it could be very distraught. Um, so Scorpio energy I want to speak about, and I also wanted to speak about, um, what else? Scorpio energy and... And incarnation and then being here in this realm incarnated at this time or in what is incarnation is in general, in general, because, you know, every every incarnation is different for every individual person because that soul is here to learn different specific things for their spiritual growth. So. Once again, spirit, Scorpio is all about transformation. From my understanding, Scorpio is one of those signs that has three um, three other transformative um, animals. Eagle and the dove. Okay, I think that's what it is. Is Scorpio is here to transform. So like I was saying, each one of those planets in Scorpio is here to transform. My, my Saturn is here to transform. My Pluto is here to transform. Well, Pluto and Scorpio, I think Pluto is the ruling planet of Scorpio. So Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. So everything's very deep for me. Yes, very deep, very passionate, very intuitive, um, very goal orientated, very intense. Um, I wouldn't say I'm, like I said, my moon is in Libra. So certain things like the negative aspects of Scorpio I would have, I say is, well, it depends. I'm very stubborn, very fixed. I'm a fixed water sign. So it does take me a lot to say, okay, well, let me try this. If I understand it intuitively to be correct, to be right, I very much stay in my, my role. Very goal oriented, very focused, very deep, intuitive, and very like I'm just a knower. I'm just a knower. <laughs> I you know I'm learning in my my spiritual journey that I'm a knower. <laughs> just know things for no reason. <laughs> um so my life as a Scorpio has not been easy, and because of this has been transformative. I'm very independent, very goal oriented, and I will do whatever it takes to get to what I need to do. Um and as a Scorpio, even though they, you know, Scorpio sting and we sting laser, just we mind our own business. The truth is, if you see Scorpio in the desert, chances are it won't bother you unless you come to it. You know what I mean? And when you come to it, best ready to be poked, you know? So like they're like I keep hearing the description is yes we're very soft in the inside and tend to build a shell because we're so soft water is very it's a, it's a water sign very emotional very sensitive so we come to transform so we are always always in a struggle in our lives um we're Scorpios are here to transform with this much water. I'm here to transform my very sun. That means the sun sign is how you present yourself. So the very, 
my very essence is here. Just and let me say, it's a lot of these planets in Scorpio are in the twelfth house. <laughs> so those who know a little bit of astrology, the twelfth house is the intangible house. So my Scorpio and Pluto in the twelfth house means I can get very, very dark. My Scorpio and Venus in the twelfth house is oh my god, I can be that much loving and deep in my love with intensity intensity because it's in the intangible house of so the two of them at equilibrium okay okay so there's 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 a lot to who i am today in in that energy that energy of scorpio is very intense very deep very intuitive um and i think we're still in the eclipse of scorpio i think it's from the 25th to the november 8th something like that so this is major transformation for you guys so for those of us that are very intuitive very sensitive you're gonna feel that you're gonna feel this transformation this change in energy and frequency it's continuous and it's ever evolving because evolution is ever evolving there's no cap in ev evolution it's constant mentally physically and spiritually it's forever more happening always going 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 strong <laughs> um so incarnation incarnation is hard so from my understanding in the past almost 10 years of my spiritual journey is it has it been 10 years let's see 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 eight years eight years of spiritual journey this is my understanding of how incarnation works the very, very broad, and I mean, just, you know, like I'm not gonna get specific because it gets real specific and detailed. My understanding is, as souls, we have come in and incarnated. I also understand there's different souls that are much older than others, so their experiences are gonna be very different, just like human beings. Our experiences are different based on our age, based on our experiences in 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 our evolution and incarnation. There are souls that are older than in creation itself. So I was, I've channeled this before. I'm one of I'm one of many old souls incarnated in the physical form for a great calling of ascension, rise in consciousness to understand we exist beyond the physical form. So us and then and then we have we also have the greatest knowing of consciousness. Consciousness is ascension. So consciousness from my understanding, I always go back to consciousness because consciousness is something that is deep. There's multi layers of level of, of existence and awareness, which is consciousness. I've even come to understanding through my through my meditations and through channeling that consciousness creates its soul. Depending on how old it is, it can create so much more. We can get into that later. <laughs> so consciousness is very powerful and the reason why we exist and that's the reason for our existence. And if any of you guys have been um, following my book study, you'll know that the mind, the body and our thoughts are simply tools used in this existence. We are not our mind, we're not our body, are our thoughts. So the incarnation of, of the choice for the soul to incarnate, whether it be a situation of rape, incest, love, murder, hurt, pain, illness, ailment, is a very much a decision that the soul made in order to experience this. And depending on how old we are, we've been through it. We've been there, done that. We've been through rape, killing, this, that, that. I've seen past lives where I was the... The, the Caucasian man killing somebody. I've seen past lives as dragons. It's infinite. It's deep stuff. You have to understand this moment in time, the, the race, the gender, the situation you're going through in many ways, if you can see it from a spiritual perspective, you'll understand that you've made that decision, a lot of it, prior to. The ego, when it's here, also can make its own decisions in this realm there's free will so the ego itself ego is the physical form can obviously make its own decision and totally go against the plan to an extent i'm also understanding that the free will thing is kind of limited in some ways because the, pur the purpose of existence at this time in this incarnation in this moment is for a reason right so so in many ways, you are guided and protected 
by um, by your guides, your spirit guides, your dragons, and fairies. Fairies are also spirit guides, <laughs> angels, dragons, gnomes. There's a lot of spiritual animals. There's a lot of protections. And then you get more spiritual protection based on the environment you put yourself into, the home you can put yourself into. Some people have go into homes where the spirits in there are bad, so they torment them. And then I'm kidding, this is like a channel. So like there's spirits that are in the house that may like you very much. And so therefore they protect you at all costs because they know who you are and you're, and you're here. Your level of awareness supersedes many today. Anyways, that's, that's, that's so, so so every aspect of you is relevant. You're not to think you're less less than. No matter your situation, no matter what you're going through in your life, no matter your struggles, know you're a brave soul, brave consciousness, a brave awareness incarnated today in the physical form for bigger and greater purpose. And and that purpose is growth. If nothing else, it's growth for the soul. So you, 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 when as the situation is over, whatever hardships that may be, you go back, reflect on it and see, well, what was the lesson there for me at that time? What's the lesson there for me at the time that I was supposed to learn? No matter the hardship. And like I said, my Scorpio, I have a lot of Scorpio. So I'm constantly in this um, notion of constantly transforming, transforming, evolving. Because that's my soul. My soul will not let me not evolve. Like, no, you're going to go through this hardship because that's what it is today. And don't be a punk about it. That's what Scorpio is about. And... And that strength sometimes, if people are not in their power, that can be intimidating. That can be very intimidating. So a lot of in a lot of ways, we are reflections to each other as well. So today, don't think, oh, I exist and so it's nothing, nothing matters. No, you exist today because you chose to be here. Something's in my eye. I keep seeing something. Or maybe it's just the glare. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, we exist greater than the physical form for... We exist greater than the physical form. So we have to know that. We have to understand that. We have to be aware of that. So that goes back to, once again, we exist multidimensionally and ever more. Multidimensionally and ever more. So technically there's no such thing as loneliness because there's always a spirit guide. Close your eyes, meditate and speak to them. Sit and let, let them see how they can communicate with you. Go back internally because a lot of illness in the body comes from stubbornness, your own stubbornness. Find out why you incarnated. Why are you here in the physical form? Why are you here? Why do you exist? Why? Ask that stuff. Don't be afraid. Don't be like, that's crazy. Why would I ask that? Uh, because you exist. You're looking at me, talking, looking at me, talking to you. So therefore, you have a consciousness and awareness. So why do you exist? Why are you present? Why is there the now? And everything is all happening today. <laughs> why? So that's what people need to get into now. Learning who they are greater than their physical form, not being afraid to question their existence, not being afraid to question society's norms, so-called norms, um, medicine, connect with nature. It starts with connecting with self. So that's that's the power of ascension, connecting with self. Once you've connected with self so much, that's the thing with, with Scorpio is I've gone in so deep, so deep, so deep, so deep that I realized, whoa, a lot of things today that I can't say for my own, my own protection. Because there are those that understand this greater than some of us. <laughs> um, but don't be afraid to go in, close your eyes, dig deep, go in, find out. And then talk to the talk, talk to your to your spirit guides. Speak to yourself. Speak to your heart. Speak to your awareness. Speak to who it is you are. A great portion 
of you are here today. So know who you are. Know who you are, humanity. And be be very aware of the changes that will be happening on the planet. There's going to be a rise, a rise in the energy on the planet. That's what I'm getting. A rise in the energy on the planet. A rise in energy for awareness. Awareness is this moment, how are you aware of me? You're going to be aware of many things very soon, they're saying, to all of humanity and for you not to be afraid of them because it is time for humanity to wake up to their glory and understand that they are multidimensional, eternal beings, okay? Remember, I don't know how much, how you got, if you follow me and how long you've been following me, but I have even had channelings where I've told people we were mermaids mermaids so it is kind of biased when there's only one race of mermaids when all of humanity have been mermaids all of us the chinese the blacks the china i don't know how the terms are i'm ha i'm from haiti so there's haitian mermaids there's there's nigerian mermaids there's buddhist mermaids i don't know i don't know I don't know. There's mermaids of all kinds. If it is that we are human beings and we were able to go into the water and live in the water for days at a time. Okay. Human beings are greater than we know. That is the awareness and consciousness. And some of us incarnated as dolphins. I was told our connections with dolphins go way, way back. Our con connection with the ocean, the earth with these with these beings that we we call oh that's not real that's not real no that's real go deep when you go deep and you start sounding crazy go deeper tap in do the research ask yourself a question get yourself a, a past life regression with me so we can tap in so we can see what's going on with you know, why'd you incarnate today? Check out my YouTube channel. All links are in the bio. DM me as well. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. So don't be afraid to be yourself. The rise in consciousness for humanity is to happen very soon. It's a channeling. Whenever I'm talking here, it's like a channeling. I get a channeling. So don't be afraid of it. You're, we're going to rise, rise, rise. Let's see what I was going to say. Meditation and hydration is very important for all of us. Meditation and hydration. See, what I do is I mind my business, drink some water, and keep it pushing. Meditate, meditate, meditate. I go in, I go in, I go in, I go deep, deep, deep within myself. Scorpionic energy ready to transform in this piece. That's what we do here today. That's what we do here today. Transformative energy is what I bring forth to all of us. There are no victims. And in other words, my point in this situation today is that there are no victims. There are no victims today. Those of us that are incarnated in the physical world, we're all incarnated in the physical form if we're right here today, right? If that's the case, you're not a victim of the circumstances that you're in. You, a lot of times the ego itself put itself in this predicament. And and a lot of times, chances are the soul incarnated for a lesson in the predicament you're in. So find out the lesson, learn, grow, move on, heal, and keep it pushing. <laughs> you're not a victim. You chose to be here and incarnated today because you are a warrior, because you're a strong soul, you're a strong consciousness using the mind, body, and thoughts to create and manifest before you. Okay, so you're not a victim. Manifest, being the vibration of manifestation, being the vibration of awareness, being the vibration of the, your strength and your power today. Know that you are the glory that be within the physical form, multidimensionally and everlasting. Okay, so if you connected with this, I feel like I was everywhere very much so. But my message is humanity. We are strong strength. And our awareness expands greater than this narrow understanding of our physical existence. We exist multidimensionally and ever more. So know this. Know this to be your truth. Find out. Okay. 
Much love and blessings to you all. This will also be on YouTube. So for my YouTubers, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tap on that notification bell to get um, more of my videos and updates. Check out the playlist um, of my audio, uh, audio, not my, my audio book, but of Kevin Fulton, Mind Magic, and the Art and Practice of Astral Projection, which I, I am to, to be continued, will be continuing it. Don't worry, that that will be done. We will finish. And there's like, the Mind Magic is basically done. We're last chapter. I think I already made this slide. I have to figure it out. There's a whole lot of things going back here, but much love to you all humanity. And blessings to you all. And know you are not a victim of your life circumstances. You chose to incarnate. Tap into the growth, the lesson you're here to find out. By now, why you incarnated today? Why are you here? Humanity, you are God's return in a physical form. Do not forget this. Yes, I said it. It is not blasphemous to say that you are a God. You are a uni You are connected to the universe. You are your own. You are your own universe to connect to the greatness before you. You manifest based on your vibration, your frequency, your thoughts, our frequency, your vibrations, your emotions. All of that make you who you are today. So know yourself as the glory that is today in the physical form, everlasting, multidimensional, and evermore. So... That being said, thank you so much. Um, I will also be posting this on my YouTube channel. Make sure to check out the YouTube channel. Much love to you all. See you next time. Blessings. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See you next time.